Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. We uh, we had a member of the Secret Network team uh, on the live stream last Saturday. I We had a great discussion and really started to uh, get into some of the nuance of uh, SCRT. Really, I'm looking forward to having, uh, having him back and continuing where we left off. Here at the podcast, we uh, we spend a lot of time focusing on what can be and not as much as uh, what is. That's how we see the tokens we invest in long term. Not what it is doing, but what else can it do? It's going to keep the channel small. All right, niche. I don't care. It's a labor of love and it's good information that I believe in, which... Uh, which is why I was I, I'm so excited about the secret network token SCRT if you go looking for it. What it's doing is, is cool. And you know what? It works. The secret network is its very own level one, and they are first and the only entity in the space. Someone else might be in development. I have no idea. If they get a product out and it's just as good. I will talk about that one as well. But for now, secret is what we have. Here's why I love it. The problem. It's got to, you know what? It's got to address a problem. Crypto should address a problem. Privacy. Yes, even in the DeFi, privacy is a problem. Smart contracts are self-executing pieces of code that are managed on a blockchain. Most blockchains that support smart contracts, such as Ethereum, are public by default. This means all the data used in their smart contracts is exposed to the public. Secret Network improves upon traditional smart contracts by supporting encrypted inputs, encrypted outputs, and encrypted state for smart contracts. Data privacy for sensitive information stored on the blockchain. Now, I get it, all right, I do. It might seem like a small problem. Contract might be open and anyone can see it, but all they see are what? Wallet addresses, right? Not names, nothing personal. Until your wallet gets doxxed, and then what? Everything you've ever done, every transaction, every buy and every sell, your entire DeFi history with that wallet now has your name on it. Could this happen? This has happened. <laughs> Will it happen again? You know what? Almost assuredly. Over a long enough timeline, almost assuredly. Every single transaction you do on the major exchanges, all of them, they have your fingerprint, name, date of birth, social security number if you're in the U.S. Uh, I'm not sure what they use in the U.K., but I'm betting they have something. Everything having to do with you and your wallet address. If the information got out, it will never get put back into the bottle because the contracts are not sealed. They're wide open. That's a problem. So along comes Secret Network. Here's the neat thing about it. It is a fix for a problem that people either don't know about or don't care about. And they won't until they have to, until the genie is out of the bottle. Then it's too late. The one thing that I love and what drove me to the DeFi was privacy. You know, it wasn't until I really got into it that I realized, you know what, it's not really private. Not yet. With the right know-how and the right information, just a little bit of it, this is virgin ground for those who are up to no good. And if history has taught us anything, those who are up to no good will find a way to profit on it. Again, along comes Secret Network. It's built as a decentralized network of computers, secret nodes, utilizing trusted execution environments to enable secure private computation over encrypted data. TEEs function like a black box for data processing and are utilized in all types of everyday platforms, such as smartphones and video game consoles. Since data is encrypted and private by default, Secret network users have viewing keys to view their sensitive data. Viewing keys can be shared with 
third parties like auditors, wallets, and explorers. They allow users to maintain control over their data. Is it data or data? Because I've said it both ways in the video. <laughs> I've got to pick one. I'm going to go with data. It allows users to maintain control over their data and decide what is shared and with who. Meaning, if the IRS decided that they wanted to view your data, they cannot, and not unless you let them. If a no good doer wanted to, view, wanted to view your data, he or she can't unless you let them. I kind of think it's my job as a host of a niche YouTube channel to play devil's advocate because I spend most of my time discussing products and not how high will it go. I just like to lay out my case for why I like it so much. If you've watched my channel for any length of time whatsoever, I'm sure you have heard me mention that private should be just that, private from the world. Access to personal information should be as allowed, not as needed. And the person allowing it should be you, nobody else ever. Secret network. What's built here, what happens here, stays here. It's an excellent product, and I cannot wait to see what they can accomplish uh, with this tech. For, uh, for the brief financials, because I know my, uh, <laughs> I know my audience, uh, a portion of my audience cares. It's purely about the money. I get it. A year ago, it was 45 cents per secret token. Today, it's around 10 bucks. And they just started. Do yourself a favor. Do your diligence on this one. It, it's, it's not often that the groundwork is completed and the only thing keeping a crypto down is not lack of interest, but lack of awareness. This is not a five-year-from-now project. It's here now. And it's growing now. Uh, we're going to be doing quite the series of videos on this one. Uh, there's so much going on with it, and I want to make sure I hit it all. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm not holding anything back. So until the next video, which is most likely going to be about altar mail, uh, I, I'm digging this thing, man, which is built on secret. Please stay safe, and please be smart with your money. Any questions, comments, concerns, or observations, look at right there. You can altar mail me. That's my address. That's it, guys. Cheers.